The House of Mouse is coming back with a vengeance in the summer of 2025. Whoa! So there's been like a trend uh, that everyone has been noticing recently. The DEI is not working across the board, across all platforms, whether it be gaming, whether it be film, whether it be TV, big blockbuster releases. Uh, it, it just doesn't work. It does not connect with the fans. So they're trying to roll out something for next year. So we've got about eight or nine months away from this season going on where they will be presenting Lilo and Stitch, the live action version, and the sequel to Freaky Friday, the one with Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, well, there's two aliens in each movie, so maybe sci-fi is making a comeback. Two family-friendly movies, the live-action Lilo and Stitch and the Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan sequel, Freakier Friday, have been dated for next summer. Lilo and Stitch on May 23rd, Freakier Friday will be August 8th. Both films had a big showing at this year's Disney 23 Expo, where the title of the Freaky Friday sequel and first look at the adorable. Would you call it that adorable? I don't know. It did, I mean, the... Just a little teaser thing. Yeah, I mean, it looks fine. It, it also looks completely unnecessary. So I guess that they got through that little squabble with Nani being played by a Hawaiian actress who didn't look Hawaiian enough. Yeah, great. Um, DI at work. I don't even think I should say these names because I'm probably going to mispronounce them. Sydney. Agudong stars as Nani in the live-action version, with Chris Standard reprising his role, his voice role, is Stitch. The cast includes Zach Galifianakis, Billy Magnuson, Courtney B. Vance, Tia Carreri, who voiced Nani in the original film. I'm glad that they're bringing her back. In what role? They, we don't know yet. Curtis and Lohan return 22 years later. And this is what I was saying. It's like, yes, 22 years later, and you're bringing back the same actresses. It was a mid-movie at best. It was nice family fun, but maybe that's what they're going for now. Maybe the DAI trend is finally ending. There's like, we just need to go back to stuff that's fun, dumb, gives us some chuckles, some giggles. We can all go to McDonald's and get a Happy Meal afterwards. Maybe they're finally going back to that. That is the, that's literally what we want from family movies. Same thing with Terrifier 3. Finally getting uh, its release. The third movie in finally gets its theatrical release. That's what we want to see from horror movies. It's bloody, gory, goofy fun. Not for the faint of heart. Doesn't have a messaging behind it. It's just there for fun, for the popcorn. Let's get our movie theaters back. I know a lot of us, including me, a lot of the times, I don't go to the movie theaters. Strictly, well, not strictly, but a big portion of it is don't have time. It's costly as crap. And a lot of the times... You're going to pay that much money and to spend that much time and go see a crappy movie that has a whole bunch of messaging in it that you didn't ask for, don't want, and now you have to sit through it or walk out and don't get a refund. A lot of people are shutting these, uh, well, not a lot of people, the Hollywood studios are shutting these theaters down by proxy, by putting this crap out. We see it in the box office returns all the time. Have been for years. You guys realize we're like over half a decade that they've been trying to push this bull crap. And it hasn't worked. Maybe they're finally turning a corner. Don't hold your breath. However, we are going back to these things. I do remember the first Freaky Friday. I do remember Lilo and Stitch. I have not rewatched it in years. But I remember not hating it. And I think that's a good thing. I'm not really going to go into storylines on what those movies are going to be right now. Because they are almost uh, 
almost over a year away, but a little under a year away. We can talk about that more later. It's more just kind of like the thought process of what the studios might be thinking, maybe what they're trying to portray. Uh, because everything in Hollywood takes way longer than it should. Shooting schedules are usually 20 to 40 days. And then you get the movie a year later. So like everything pre-production to production to post-production to marketing to it actually hitting the theaters ends up being around a year, year and a half. So maybe the trend is finally starting to change. What do you guys think? I would hope we finally get back to young, dumb fun. But I'm not too hopeful. This is Malty. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, peace.